Hi, this is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com, and I'm continuing our video series through my book, Seriously God, and we are in the very last chapter of my uh, first volume, and it's called Go for Broke. And the scripture reference we're going to use is 1 Kings 18.15. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. And basically, where, where he was speaking to was to Obadiah. He had went to Obadiah and said, I need to speak to King Ahab. And Obadiah's response is like, you, how are you, you know, the king has been searching high and low. How in the world am I just going to walk up and say, hey, Elijah wants to have a conversation with you. And then even Obadiah said, hey, I have hidden a hundred prophets. You know, are you going to get me killed by telling me, you know, having me tell the king you're going to be there and then when I turn around you're going to be gone because nobody could find you forever and and basically Elijah was like look I'm going to talk to the king today and it's interesting because Elijah had nothing to lose and everything to gain by following God's commands and there are many times in our Christian walk where we're going to have nothing to lose and everything to gain by following God's command but it means sometimes we got to go for broke. I mean, you just got to give it your all. You can't turn to the right. You can't turn to the left. You just got to set your face towards God and you just got to walk towards where he wants you to be. And many of us um, know that there's been many trials and situations in our lives where we feel like, no way am I going to go for broke. What if, you know, what if we we get like Obadiah? What if I turn around and say, okay, God, I'm going to pay my tithes this year. Okay, God, I'm going to step out in ministry and I'm going to move away from what's comfortable and move towards where you are. And I turn around and you're not there. Then how am I going to do this? And God's saying, I am faithful. I am worthy. I will do all, all things uh, I will work all things together for your good. So um, to hand everything over to God, regardless of the cost, we'll never, we'll never get let down. Now, will there be tests where we start to wonder and say, I don't know about this one, God? Absolutely. It's part of our human nature. But every time we stay in the word, and if that's the key, stay in the word of God, stay in prayer. It's like, even if we start to turn to the right, turn to the left, the Holy Spirit through the word of God just leads us right, right exactly where we need to be for what he needs to do in our lives. And that's what happened for Elijah. You know, to go for broke is not filled with fear and timidity. It is fear, It was filled with power and knowing that God is with us wherever we go. So I want to encourage you. Um, go for broke. Do what God has called you to do and do it under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. And he's going to do some fantastic things this year in your life. Keep the faith. This is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com. Don't forget, go for broke. Bye for now.